Hi YouTubers, this is Justin from Goodson's Hobbies. I've been doing some what I think is interesting experimentation with 3D printing some tires for a new scalar trailer project. Um, I printed these in both Polyflex, which is a flexible TPU type material, and PLA. And then I tried some different surface finishes. Um, to try to get it to look pretty decent and smooth. So I thought I'd share my thoughts um, and my findings. Hopefully someone else finds this useful. So I will get into it. So first we have a straight polyflex print. Um, I did decently thick walls. The tread came out really nice, um, but I lose a lot of the detail due to the nature of the way it prints um, with the lettering and the sidewall. I actually added a curve for the sidewall to try to mimic a real tire, and it just, it looks not great. So um, after I tried that, the first thing I tried, uh, I tried to heat it to maybe smooth it a little bit. It did not react well to this. Um, as you can see, it looks looks about the same. I could just start to see the edges melt away and I, I just kind of stopped there. So that, that didn't work out well. I also, out of curiosity, just tried to melt it flat. Um, so basically we just heated this up and pressed it onto some um, aluminum plate that was very hot and it did smooth it but um, not really the finish I was looking for so I thought oh well PLA prints decent so why don't I just print a straight PLA print and you know it did it did it printed well you know I have a nice looking tread um, you know the lettering came out well you know nice details pretty uniform finish um, but it's hard you know, it's a PLA print. It doesn't feel like a tire. So just to see if I could get a little smoother, I, I sandblasted that. And as you can see, it does take away some of that sheen. And I mean, it really looks like it's starting to look like a tire. So, you know, if, if you were concerned about with how it felt, this is probably pretty acceptable. Um, it even might be the direction I go in just of, because of ease. Um, and I'm not terribly worried about these rolling over any terrain, um, you know, it's gonna be for a static model, so this might be a good solution, especially because black PLA is cheap. I also tried plasti dipping the PLA, and this gives a really nice rubber feel. Um, also a really decent rubber look. You know, I mean, it, it looks nearly like a tire, so um, this is a pretty nice, alternative for, for a PLA print. Um, you know, I didn't really go onto the tread here, but you certainly could. Back to the Polyflex, I thought, well, the, the sandblasting worked well for PLA. Let's see what it does on the Polyflex. Really doesn't improve the looks very much. Um, I mean, you can see it takes the sheen away, but it doesn't improve the print quality. And I have tried drying this material, so it's not like I have wet material here. Um, I think it's just maybe a combination of the material type and the extruder. Um, so that's still, I mean, it's probably an okay option, but, but not what I want. I also tried plastic dipping the Polyflex, and it doesn't prove. You know, you got that nice rubbery texture. In addition to it being, you know, a flexible tire. So we're getting pretty close. But you still lose a lot of the detail. It still looks pretty rough. Pretty crummy. No, not, not what I'm looking for. So I thought, well, you know, what if I take away the detail? Um, and that's where I landed with this one. I printed this one with really thin walls. And not many top layers. Um... I think it was only like three top layers. If I had gone maybe four or five, 
you know, I probably would have gotten this even smoother finish on the outside, you know, because I mean, look, you know, this is the bed surface. I mean, that looks beautiful, but it doesn't look like a tire. So, you know, it's nice. It, this one's really squishy. Um, I, I think this is a really nice, it feels like a tire, um, but it doesn't really look like one. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards the PLA with either Plasti Dip or, you know, just a sandblasted PLA. I mean, it, they both look pretty good. It keeps the details. Um, like I said, I'm not overly concerned with this thing really rolling well. But, you know, I think if you were, were looking for a more rubbery tire, I think if you printed it without the detail and maybe increased the, the top layers, top number of layers, you could probably get a decent, decent enough result. Um, you know, maybe this with Plasti Dip would re yield an even better result, I'm not sure. But that experimenting is for another day. I hope you found this useful, um, or at least interesting. <laughs> Thanks for watching.